Hi, welcome to Oricot and in this video we want to learn how to use the rising box component to simulate a Kurigami pop-up. As you can see I can change the folding from open to close and also I can change the number of these boxes. These are a series of rising boxes which I have made this in a tool. You can download this from foodforrhino.com and if you go to Oricot you will see that we have two sections. There is a Oricot plugin, which is going to give you a series of components uh, like patterns and grid, which I'm going to explain in the future tutorials. And you can also have a series of Oricot tools, uh, which is actually some components and useful components for origami, kirigami, and uh, auxetics. So what I want to do here is to download this tool it's a zip file and if you open the zip file you can see it's called the Oricot folder uh, what you have to do to install this is to go, just go to the file special folders and here we can use this user object folder so remember to put the tools in the user object folder and simply just put this Oricot here and you will have the tools uh, for the zip file you can see that there are uh, folders like this rising boxes which is the tool if you open it you can see it's a, there's a text file and if you double click on the text file uh, you can see a short description uh, if there's a, additional plugins you have to install to get the tools uh, running and get the results you have to download this plugin and add it to your grasshopper and also if you want to download the example file there is a link here, which you just you can copy this into your browser, uh, which is going to help you to basically an example file, so you can get started to know how you can fold the Kirigami paper. Okay, so now you can see that I can open and close this pattern, and in this video I just want to explain how to use this uh, tool to get the final results and fold this Kirigami pop-up. So the first one is the uh, depth which is actually the length of the maximum of the boxes you have which you can change here uh, the second one is the height the height is from here to the maximum uh, z coordinate and the length which you can control actually from start to the end of the box for example if I put that to like 600 millimeters and go from top you can see it's something like 600 from start to the end. So we can control the dimensions of the shape here, the rising boxes here. Then we can change the number of counts. So you can start with three and go up and increase the numbers. So if I just go to three, let me explain what's happening here. The first one is the collide one. Don't uh, put that to extra numbers because you can see if it collides, I mean, if you collide this with the second one, the last one and the uh, first one, it's going to give you wrong results. So remember that, control the collision so they don't collide. So the collide one is the multiplication for the start and the end, and the collide two is going to control the mid boxes. So if I just increase these boxes, you can see that this is controlling the mid boxes and this is controlling the start and the end. Uh, you can control the scale Y and scale Z, which is actually uh, the first one is to scale the boxes in the Y direction. You can see how easy it is. And the Z is obviously the height of the boxes scaling. And then we have a scale for the sheet, which is like sheet scale one and two. Uh, this can help you to control the size of the sheet. For example, if I just uh, change the scale one, it's going to scale it right here. And then you can just play with this number to reach exactly what you need for a project and get the final results. And the scale two is going to make a bigger sheet size. So you can control it here and see the dimensions. Okay. Uh, there is also an offset which is going to help you offset the dimensions to see it clearly and also a size so you can see the size of the sheet. Okay, that's the tool. So you can easily use that from the Oricot plugin. And remember when you install the plugin Oricot, which is basically the uh, tools, 
you have to put it in the file special folder and in the components folder this is a little bit different so just let me just explain you have to put it like here and when you install that just right click on the Oricot GHA go to properties and if you see an unblock here just unblock the tool and you will get the final results okay so now I have the 3d model if I want to I can bake that and you will have this in Rhino you can see it's just a complete poly surface for example if I want to have it like 90 degrees I have to go here and put this fault to 0 because 0 is like 90 degrees if you just increase that it's going to go 90 to open it and minus 90 to close it so I'm going to put that to 0 if I want to see the 3d model obviously I can use that in my projects and there are three outputs which I can use for example the sheet border I can bake that for example let's make that into layer one and that's going to help us to have the sheet I'm going to bake the cut layer the cut layer is obviously let's put that into layer two are the lines that you have to cut uh, to get the final results let's just see the 3d model here so uh, if we cut here we will have this part and we can fabricate that okay so these are the cut layer and the fold layer we can make that into another layer here which is actually these folding lines you can see that I have all of them here and finally if you want to use uh, another software to make this for example if you want to use the cameo maybe uh, to fabricate this you can just simply select it file and remember that you have to change the color if you want to have different colors based on your project but when you want to export that you have to go to file and select export selected uh, obviously I'm going to make an SVG so go to the scalable vector graphics and just make this like a test I usually use this technique to get the final results and then I can go here and select custom uh, let's go here and go to the view and output set this to top and maybe say this is the pattern I want I can scroll down and use the line types if you want uh, a thicker curve you can just play with this default thing and that's it that's you that's the way you can get the SVG file uh, for fabrication or DXF file maybe if you're using other softwares so this tool is really easy if you want to model 3D boxes rising as a Kirigami pop-up, I'm going to use uh, other techniques to give you other pop-up uh, 3D models in the future. Uh, for those who want to learn this step by step or maybe just take a look at the algorithm, we're going to put that in the premium section so uh, they can just take a look of the different steps they have to take, base boxes, for example, uh, if I wanted to fabricate this. Uh, let me just show you uh, first you have to make a series of boxes then you have to scale them uh, then you have to make the difference boolean difference to get the final results there's uh, also a construct sheet which is really an advanced uh, technique I've used to make the sheets because this is going to be combined with uh, parts like that and then you will have uh, the pufferfish plugin which is going to unroll it and put it on the ground and then just some techniques to uh, extract the layers get the cut layer the fold layer and so on or if you want to have the simulation of the fold you can have the fold Okay, so uh, this example file is a big one if the, for those who want to really learn step by step 
uh, how to make this I think this example file will help uh, help the premium members to just get a little bit of a view of how many steps you have to take to get to this final result which is actually free in Oricot a uh, plugin in the foodforrhino.com and you can just have this in the pop-up section in the near future we're going to add more uh, pop-up cards so just uh, let us know which type of patterns do you need and we can also think about that we're going to uh, have some tutorials in the near future about the patterns uh, how you can use this grid and patterns tools so stay tuned and remember to subscribe to our channel like this video so uh, other people can also watch this video and thanks for watching see you next time bye